Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thanks again for dropping by. In this video, we're going to look at how to create Amazon KDP book covers using Canva. It's very simple and you can easily do it in a few minutes. By the way, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I post videos like this. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, you need to download the cover template from KDP site. So go ahead and search for KDP cover template. And it would be this one, paperback cover template. Just click on that. In order to get the right template, you need to know the trim size, the total number of pages of your book, and the paper color that you want to use. There's no point creating a cover if you don't know this yet, especially this trim size and a page count. So all right, for size, you can choose from these options. Five by eight is the smallest, six by nine is quite popular. And we have the 8.5 by 11 inches, which is the largest. So let's try five by eight, 100 pages and paper color would be white. You can have cream or color and then click on download cover template. So once you've downloaded the zip file, open it and you'll find a PDF in PNG formats and it would look like this. You've got the front, the back, and the spine in the middle. This is what you're going to use as a template to create your paperback covers. Now before designing, we need to get the overall size and there are several ways to do this, either in inches, pixels, or centimeters. If you're using a Mac, you can do command I which is a get info or right click on it and you'll get the dimensions over here this one so for 5 by 8 inches it would be 3143 by 2475 pixels if you're using a PC you can right click select properties then details another way is opening the PDF in Acrobat and go to file properties and description here you can see the page size and it's in inches and that's all you need before creating your cover now go ahead to canva and then click on create design custom size and i choose i chose pixel you can do inches or centimeters or millimeters and this is the size that we want it's 3143 by 24 75 i show you it was this one. I took it from here. All right, and then create new design. Now go ahead and upload your PNG template and let's start designing. So I already have it uploaded. Just click on your template just once and resize it by dragging any of these corners and it will resize proportionately. So this is exactly the right size of the template. And normally, I would do the spine first, but however you do it is up to you. And we can put a rectangle over here or and a text. So for example, let's just do text for now. Let's do daily planner. Maybe I daily journal. And change the size to maybe 15 there you go and make sure that it's inside these red lines here or these red rectangles as long as it's in this middle white space you're good to go if it's over these white ones then you'll get an error from KDP so let's do the cover the front cover you can put your titles here subtitles your author name or whatever you want to put on the front cover so let's say for example I want a let's do this for elements maybe I'll do a background Okay, the background, I chose a background and if I move this, that's there. Let's put that back for now, that's okay. And then I'll have my title. Daily journal. Just make sure that anything important 
should be inside the red margins, this and this. So what's important is centering everything between these red bars here, this one, um, let's see. this, and this. So in order to get the element centered correctly, what you can do is, for example, this text, what you can do is drag this up to here and here. And as long as this one's centered, then you'll be fine. So, yeah, let's do that. And you can put a subtitle here if you want. Let's do 50. And you can also have author name or whatever here. So that to be okay. And for the back, you can put a logo somewhere over here. Put it there. So you can put your logo here and some text over here if you have any. And But don't put anything on this barcode location. So once you're satisfied your, with your design, you can now delete the template. Okay, but first I'd like to put a a rectangle over here for my spine. I'll just put it like this. Okay, and change the color to this. And then now, once you're satisfied with your design, you can delete the template because we don't want that showing on our cover and it would look something like this. And you can always put the template right back again if you have to. So once you're done, and you're satisfied with this, just click on download and choose PDF print. But do not check the crop marks and bleed because we don't need that at all. So click on download and there you have it. You can now upload that to KDP. And it's as easy as that. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful and inspiring. I would love to hear what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. Keep watching and keep learning. I'll see you next time. Bye now.